Of course, the name Ivor Wynn is no stranger to Hamilton Ticats fans and the city. Today, the name of the old stadium is being resurrected at the top of Tim Hortons Field. Jason Guidola joins us live tonight for the unveiling. Jason, quite an exciting evening. Yeah, that's right, Taz. And right now I'm right at the top of the press box here at Tim Hortons Field, where the area is officially named the Iverwin Press Center. And it's uh, right above us, uh, right here on the south side of the media zone. The city of Hamilton says uh, this was a way to commemorate Hamilton's sports heritage as long as well as the contributions of Ivor Wynn uh, to sports and the city. Now, this has been a, a long time coming because according to uh, the original lease agreement between the city and the Hamilton Tiger Cats, this initiative was agreed upon back in 2014. After a nine-year wait, the name Ivor Wynn lives again at the home of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. My brother and I never felt uh, a need or a right to make any kind of uh, a request or a reminder or anything to the city about it. And it just continued on and it was out of sight, out of mind. And Bob Wynn says he and his family are honored by the return of their father's name as it joins other Tiger Cat legends at Tim Hortons Field. The city of Hamilton says it's commemorating Wynn and his contributions to sports and the community. You know, it's really something to have his uh, name on such a, an important uh, national uh, uh, property. That property being the former Civic Stadium. Following a renovation in 1970, city officials renamed it Ivor Wynn Stadium, and the name stayed put for 41 years at the Tiger Cats' historic home. Bob Wynn says just before the stadium's renovation and renaming, his father died of a rare blood disorder at the age of 52. He was chairman of the Parks Board at the time of his passing, and uh, members of the Parks Board uh, were in, uh, entrusted with the naming of various parks. Stadium would be uh, renamed after after my father, and my father was well known in the community generally. So uh, it just went forward on that basis. Born in 1918 in Wales, Ivor Wynn and his family moved to the Hamilton area, and he built an athletic legacy and became dean at McMaster University. He also called football games right here on CHCH TV. Uh, his life was one of uh, concern for others, and uh, uh, and that's what really stood uh, uh, over and above his general uh, talent and uh, intelligence and empathy for uh, uh, for people. And it was a, a very celebratory moment here at Tim Hortons Field. The family uh, did have a press conference uh, as, as, long, as well as with the city. Uh, they had comments as well. Uh, Hamilton Mayor Andrea Horvath was here as well uh, for remarks. And the family uh, took to the rain outside in the field to take photos of the name uh, above the press box and to uh, to really enjoy this uh, uh, long awaited moment. Now we did reach out to the city of Hamilton and asked why it took nine years to finally get to this point and uh, we're still waiting for a response from them.